Yo dog, I heard you like sniping, so here's a sniper so you can snipe while you snipe. <laughs> What's going on guys? It is Alric Phoenix, and this is it. My last episode of Gunception. This is dual wielding snipers. I have the DSR, I have the ballista, and I pull off shots I normally don't. I'm, I must have had every advantage in this game. I can only think that my connection with the host was, was so good that everyone else was so poor because I shouldn't have been hitting these shots, I'll be honest. It, like, the silliness was at its absolute height. So, it's domination. Uh, I did cut out the round transition in the beginning of each round by like, you know, five or ten seconds just because you know, it's five seconds of me running to a flag. You know, even I, I'm Master Prestige, so I don't need the experience points for capping your home flag. Um, because my point is to get gun kills, I, I don't technically need to cap any flags. But I cap flags, I cap a bunch of flags in this actually, and I, I can't help it. You know, compulsion, since Modern Warfare, all through Modern Warfare 3 is to cap flags. Uh, so yeah. Uh, the class is, as I said, I am using the Ballista with Iron Sight and Laser Sight. So that way when I scope in, it uh, lowers the, it minimizes the crosshair distance so I could, you know, really quickly shoot someone a lot easier. That's my short distance weapon. And of course, I have the my Diamond DSR with Ballistic CPU so that way it doesn't sway when I hard scope the shit out of people. And I do a lot of that, but I'll be honest, it's the unsco it's the uh, Iron Sight Ballista that really does the best work in this. It's crazy. Oh, it was such a good game, and I so rarely get that good a game when I play with any of my buddies, just because you know we don't none of I don't play with anyone from you know where I'm from, Canada, Toronto. So when I play with some of the guys that are from the U.S., I go to their connection and. You know, we don't have the greatest uh, host connection to each other, so, you know, I'm, I, I have a lot of trouble when I try to snipe when I'm playing with guys. So, yeah, it is what it is. Man, over the weekend, so I, I did my last video on Sunday, but I, I didn't talk about this because I, I didn't want to jinx myself. I, I decided on the weekend that I was just going to use LMGs. Um, particularly when I use LMGs, and I've talked about my playstyle. I play I play a really slow and defensive playstyle, but m for whatever reason, on the weekend when I was using like MK48s and uh, the uh, LSAT and a little bit of the um, assault rifle classes, very few times, mostly I was using LMGs. But I was pulling out load stars and swarms, like uh, I was just like, and I'm I'm going to just destroy them. So I would pull out AGRs, Lodestar, and then Swarm. And I did it within like three minutes in one round using an LMG. I mean, it was... It's, the problem is, it's not exciting to watch what I did. Because I hard scoped the shit out of people. I'm using FMJ. It's demolition, so I'm basically shooting right through the bomb so people can't plant the bomb. Like, I have I am mastered how demolition works and different spots just so that way I could get all these ridiculous kill streaks and super high kills. It it was crazy. Like I should I should not be pulling out swarms for being playing like a dick, <laughs> but I was. Like and I was just like, oh, I'm gonna get an AGR this game, and then I would, and then I'm gonna get like three AGRs, and then I, I there was one game where I got three EMPs in one life. I I don't even think I was close. What was I running? Oh yeah, I was running stealth chopper, AGR, and then EMP just because I wanted to EMP the crap out of them. It was it was ridiculous, uh, man. My my KD with LMG specifically has got to be like a three. Conversely, my bloody uh, my KD with like assault rifles is like less than one. I can't get assault rifles to work for me. They kill too slowly. I just I can't. I don't like them. Don't. Uh, anyway, so so yeah. So back to the class. I'm using hardline for some reason, because I, I think I, I wanted to get, uh, because I'm using sniper rifles, my goal was to try to get things like sentry guns and block off anyways, just 
ways to block off people. So sentry guns, guardians, just stopping people from getting too close, so that way I could scope them down. Because, uh, man, like, you watch this gameplay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm shooting the shit out of these guys. They don't know what's going on. I'm just giving them the old one-shot skidoo right to the dome. But, uh, yeah, hardline and dexterity because, you know, I'm, I'm running around with the unscope ballista at the very least. You, you, you kind of need dexterity to for that extra second, half second of, of aiming at someone's face. So, um, yeah, I, uh, this is it. This, this was the one that uh, I was probably the most proud of. I might try this specific one again. Try the unscope ballista. Unscope Ballista and DSR again. I'd like to run around with just these two. I think it's a lot of fun to do this. Like, like I, I'm not watching the gameplay at the exact same time, but I am watching some of the gameplay while this is going on. And, God, like, I turned on guys that... It's just, like, I'm, I would be so embarrassed if I watched some of these kill cams. I'd be like, what was I doing? Yeah, I... I you know, sniping is funny. A, a lot of people expect... You know, quick scoping. You run around all the time and and, and snap people in the face. But uh, and I was talking about it in my other in, in the my, actually my probably my last video on grind. Uh, you know, playing a little slower is is really good. Like I was playing super aggressively this game. Uh, mostly I was kind of caught up in how my team was playing super aggressively, and I'm like, well, if I want my kills, I guess I need to play super aggressive as well. And it just it happened to work out this time. But. Uh, in general, I prefer not to play super aggressive. I mean, I guess when you're using the unscoped ballista, playing super aggressive is kind of a good thing because it becomes a, the medium range shot, I guess. You know, it's it's okay for that, but in general, like, I really don't like playing super, super aggressive with sniper rifles. I really like having a team of people that are playing super aggressive, and I like to support them. I, I am the penultimate support player Unless it comes to LMGs, at which point I will mow down everyone in sight with no regard for how they feel about anything. I think I'm gonna play some LMGs. I've been taking actually a couple days off. Uh, ever, I played, you know, I, I had my sa Saturday, my Sunday afternoon games where I was just crushing them, and I don't think I've play logged in since. I've fully been playing my PSP. Uh, playing old school games has. Uh, has a nice ring to it. Actually, I was thinking of logging in and playing some uh, old school Half Life One. That's where I, for very, really at the very beginning, started playing shooters, which was like 16 years ago when Half Life One came out, which is kind of pre, frankly, when some of you were born, I guess. <laughs> pre when most people started playing shooters. I'll be honest. Man, I'm, my skills at Half Life One, like that's when, that's lo that's. The origin of the rocket jump, right? Like, that's, like, Team Fortress and Half-Life 1. You'd have rockets and you'd shoot below your feet and pow, up you'd go. Anyway, so, video's winding down, guys, and I hope you enjoyed that. There was some, uh, definitely skill shots in there. I'm gonna go, so I will see you guys later. I hope you have, uh, a good day. Peace out, guys.